Hey what's up guys it's CP for a new Duel Links video and guys Dino is here it's dominating in my opinion um, it's the first day of the April season and I'm already legion as you will see so I'm using this uh, Dino deck until now and I've been really successful with it uh, we've got one giant rex, it's really standard in a um, dino deck, um, no more than one, I guess. Get two salamandra, it's because I feel like we don't have space for a third one. We have two baby serus, um, I feel like three would be too much, one would be I guess one is not enough as well. Two, two is, two is fine. Two is fine. But I mean, uh, yeah, when you start uh, with him in your hand, not always are optimal. Uh, if you don't have Maria, but we'll see that after. So we have two Sabersaurus because um, I don't have Mega Low Smasher, but it's a decent replacement. Even though Mega Low Smasher is better. Anyway, it's a rare card, so you can pretty easily have it. In a small box, actually. Yeah, pretty easy, pretty easy to pick up. See, only 70 packs remaining, okay. And yeah, got them pretty easily. So there you go. Got your placement. And, um... Some really high stats. I mean, uh, he's higher than a um, a salamandra without any boosts with his effects. So yeah, pretty strong. And I mean, it doesn't make such a big difference compared to the Mega Smasher. Anyway, we have the Cosmic Cyclone here. Uh, maybe I should play more, but I only have one. But uh, yeah, it's good again. It's the AG, and basically any um, back row relying decks. Well, one fossil deck is actually um, pretty good because sometimes you would like to have a baby Saurus, sometimes a Salamandra, sometimes a giant Rex, <laughs> and sometimes a Sabasaurus, not gonna lie, sometimes you wanna have uh, each one of these cards. Well, if you have a giant Rex in your graveyard, you would like to pick up the Salamandra, of course. Um, um, I mean, uh, yeah, if you have Salamandra, and like you have a uh, survival and in your graveyard, you can pick up the giant rex to uh, tribute to um, to like swing in, survive, change the bubbles and in your graveyard into it. And next turn you prepare or maybe even the same turn you can do it main phase one. You resummon your giant rex with its effect and Simon draws effect. So yeah, pretty busted. Um, you can also, well, basically, of course, you can destroy your baby Saurus with uh, this Avalos End. This is the pretty standard move to to summon another monster. This is baby Saurus's effect. And of course, you, you would like to have a sub, some Sabasaurus if you have a Avalos End uh, set. So here you go, this is the key card, survivors and I'm pretty sure you all are familiar with this card. Pretty good graveyard effects, pretty good uh, set effects, so uh, good card. We have a floodgate and a triple canadia, it's a version uh, like playing these um, these cards I saw that on the uh, DLM websites. Uh, turned out to be kinda good. I only have one floodgate, but uh, I mean that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I have bad aim here to just kinda replace a floodgate or a um, cosmic cyclone. It's pretty strong against AG, you can destroy your back um, opponent's back row, you can destroy opponent's monsters, 
it's actually pretty solid i'm not gonna lie it's pretty situational you can basically try to destroy anything if you just <laughs> Actually, uh, the uh, my my favorite movie is when they want to like double cyclones or anything. Your bad aim, <laughs> you just chain bad aim. <laughs> so yeah, basically they want to destroy one of your crates, but it's you that destroy one of them. Uh, yeah, basically uh, you win the trade just thanks to that. So yeah, pretty like big progress place basically. <laughs> If they have like a reactor dragon and they use any effect to like destroy your bad aim, like a double cyclone, you can chain it and destroy the the re reactor dragon. It co of course, they can double cyclone uh, their gear town and your bad aim, for instance, you chain bad aim and um, yeah, uh, gear town will miss the timing. It's part of play. So yeah, I, yeah, it can be a double cyclone, it can be a cosmic cyclone, whatever. Uh, galaxy cyclone, sorry. Breaker, whatever. You can miss the timing with bad aim. Your time pre can pretty easily miss the timing with bad aim. It's really easy, actually. I mean, if you set bad aim and they try to destroy gear time, there's no way you cannot uh, chain bad aim to make them miss the timing. So definitely do it uh, even with a fortress or whatever they, they cannot they, they, they need to miss the timing so it's pretty good to do that yeah but I'm really good card and Marilla to I have three because I really want this of us and it's in the graveyard so this is it pretty standard pretty strong and I get I don't feel I will uh, change anything until now from now on so let's see how it went. So as you can see, been pretty dominating actually. Oh my god, actually <laughs> no losses in the history. Uh, but I think I lost. Um, I was running a different version, and uh, I lost like once or twice with it. I don't really know. I don't remember. But uh, since I'm running this version, I haven't lost a single match here pretty easy. We've got some AG, some Dinos here. It's a... Um, what is it? Oh, Neft is like this one was pretty tough. Ubel, it's a real Ubel deck. It's a real Destiny Hero deck. I don't know, I don't know. It's a... Um, what was it? I also got... A pretty easy win against um, Silent Magician. Really easy win, not gonna lie, really easy. Um, and it was with the former version also. But yeah, okay, here we have an AG, pretty standard. And two Six Samurai deck. So, I mean. Standard matchups, nothing special actually. Get some, yeah, we've got a little bit of everything. So, yeah, you can see it's actually does well, it does well against pre like any of the top tier decks. So, oh, we are against uh, 6 Samurais here, it's for the rank up. Yeah, as you can see. So, Dinosaur Kingdom. If uh, I see a lot of Dinos deck, I will uh, go for the other skill. Um, to like, which is better for the near matchup. Uh, this, I mean, the skill that uh, do not use the uh, field spell, but you can boost each turn your dino's attack by 100. Uh, turns out it's not a good skill uh, against um, um, casual uh, matchups. 
like against any other matchups and um, turns out <laughs> I do see uh, Dino pretty rarely so so um, I feel like I have to run this skill okay so here I don't really know okay we use both of them and we destroy its monster Shin Stone Show now I <laughs> I watched uh, I watched decayed video and um I mean uh, I know what it does a little bit but uh, I mean uh, I didn't read com read ready complete completely this as well this as well but I know that the key monster is a level five synchro monster here and this means a uh, at most level two monster so can't do much with it, so I just kinda add the other monsters. Here it summons another monster, whatever. Survivor's end. Chained Canada. To summon two. <laughs> two baby service. Then chain. Finishing. I didn't see any delay on this card. Wasn't scared actually. Feel like we were set, we were set. Okay. Um, what is it? So, I think. No, what is this? Okay, my bad. Uh, wrong replay. Oh, this is a refund deck. <laughs> yeah, that's my skill. Will I be lucky? Oh, my so lucky. <laughs> no, I'm joking. This is just a skill. Now it's an ancient gear fortress actually, pretty impressive. Now we cannot swing in. He's been thinking for like <laughs> one minute, like why can't I attack? <laughs> oh gosh. So we're waiting, waiting, cannot get through, which is quite funny. Now, bad aim into bad aim into bad <laughs> into a nightmare now he paid he didn't realize he realized after all that he would have missed the timing with you Tom. <laughs> but as he already paid he had to destroy my back row <laughs> oh gosh four bad aims like no three bad aims like all the field is wiped out we have a mask change holy four ggs Not even close. Not even close. Like all these bad aims were kind of fun. And last, uh, last replay. A special replay. I'm using levels against you, Bell. Not a bad matchup. So we set the um, prismatic lady. Your bell, nice. It's gonna destroy my lady, why not? Now he destroy his um, phoenix, so 
here I do that to not uh, trigger the, the ultimate nightmare feel like it's better to not have the ultimate nightmare in its graveyard just because it's kind of annoying to draw it I feel like it but it's okay we'll see anyway it would have been destroyed so here it misses the timing so no terror and coin no ultimate nightmare summon it but actually it was an insane well at least maybe he was running with several uh, versions, copies, but uh, okay. We he can't take and we synchro shoken using his Yaksha. <laughs> Cause guess what? It's one more non tuner fire monster <laughs> and uh, Yaksha is a fire monster. It's quite funny. Anyway, I will uh, show you this funny decklist, not the levels one, it's pretty standard, and trust your destiny to my but cards. that one, Master of Destiny Hero. When you toss coins, the result will always be heads for the first three coin tosses. This key can only activate if you begin the duel with a deck that has five or more cards with different names that require that require coin tosses. Now it's it's in your main deck. I tried. <laughs> I used the two uh, coin tosses uh, a fusion monsters. Didn't work. So you have to have five monsters. That requires countesses. I have a temperance, which is basically a Karibo. That's why it's fine. Never use. Uh, I never use this kind uh, for its effects. For its uh, countesses effect, <laughs> just use it as a Karibo. And uh, the Karyot here, which is decent. Only got one though. Get this time wizard, which is a Poggers card. Now this Sider. Drilled work, no celestials. Uh, Miss Judge. This guy is actually pretty solid, especially when you have a 100% chance to 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 negate with its effects. So you basically negate anything with it once per turn, which it's it's really goddamn strong with this skill. Not gonna lie. Maybe I should run more. We'll see. Uh, copper face, of course, as you may have seen. If you have two, like it's a double pull of greed, it's GG well played. Uh, yeah, some bad aims because it's fun. And the emotional prison, and I'm running Wall of D. It's not optimal, but uh, I was having fun with Wall of D. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. Peace.